Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. I'm here today with Maui, and we're gonna talk about blanketing. So a really common question for new horse owners is often around blanketing. So they get their horse, winter starts to come, and you notice a lot of other people at the barn perhaps are putting blankets on. You start to wonder if you should do the same for your horse. Also, as people, a lot of times it feels good to do something for a horse. If we come to the barn and we feel chilly and it's a cold day, it makes us feel good to put a blanket on. But does your horse really need a blanket? And could there actually be some drawbacks of putting that blanket on? The way horses naturally stay warm is through their hair coat. So in the winter, triggered by the changing uh, length of the day, they start to grow hair and Maui is showing us a nice hair coat. So the hair gets thicker, the hair get, gets longer. And what happens is when the horse starts to feel cold, the hair basically starts to stand out and that creates an insulating layer of air and the horse is able to thermoregulate. He's able to adjust his own body temperature by changing the hair. So for example, if it's a really cold day out, the horses look really fluffy because their hair is really standing on end to trap a lot of air. But if it's one of those warmer days or if the horse is moving around and starts to warm up, then the hairs will just start to lay back down so that the horse doesn't overheat. If you're thinking about whether your horse needs a blanket, here's a few different factors to consider. So first of all, how hairy does he get? Does he get a nice thick coat? The thicker his coat, the better he's gonna be able to stay warm. Also, where is your horse from? Is he adapted to the climate that you're in now? So for example, if you live in the north and you just had a horse shipped up from Florida, he's definitely gonna need some blanketing help. And then also, how much riding do you do? And do you choose to clip your horse? So if you're doing a lot of riding where your horse is regularly working up a sweat, clipping can be helpful because it actually prevents that moisture from getting trapped and pot potentially chilling the horse. Um, but anytime that you clip the horse and you take away the longer hairs and his ability to, to regulate his temperature, then he's gonna need some extra care and support when it comes to his blanketing. So when you're trying to determine if it, your individual horse needs a blanket, the best thing to do is just to watch him and observe him. So the most obvious sign of a horse that's cold is gonna be shivering, but you can look at some more subtle signs too. If horses are really huddling together, if a horse is standing and he's got his neck low and he's kind of in that um, huddled up position, trying to make his surface area smaller, then he's probably starting to get a little bit cold. The other thing that will really affect a horse's ability to stay warm is weather and if they start to get wet. So if they don't have shelter or if they're out for a long time in say a cold rain and they get wet, then they can no longer create that insulating layer of um, air under their hair and they can start getting, getting cold then. So if your horse doesn't have shelter and he's going out on a cold rainy day, putting a blanket on to keep him dry and also keep him warm can be really helpful in that situation. The potential problems that can come from blanketing are usually in restriction of movement. So if the blanket doesn't fit the horse well or if it's a poor design, it can start to rub at the shoulders. And if you see the shoulder rub, you have to remember that's actually a lot of pressure that's taking that hair off. So that pressure can mean um, restriction of movement and potentially also soreness in more of the underlying structures of the horse's shoulder too. So if you do put a blanket on, especially if your horse's horse is gonna be wearing that blanket for long periods of time, you wanna make sure that it fits really well and that he's comfortable and that he can move in the blanket really easily. The bottom line is to pay attention to your individual horse. If you go to the barn and you feel a little bit chilly, don't just automatically assume that your horse feels the same. He may actually be a lot more comfortable without his blanket and able to regulate his own temperature with his hair. The horse really has a great design for staying warm. If you've ever seen horses out on a snowy day without blankets, and you'll see that their hair is all fluffed up, and they'll often have kind of a blanket of snow over them, and the horse will feel cool to the touch, and that blanket of snow uh, won't be melting. And that's just proof that the body temperature of the horse is being held in. It's not coming up and going through the hair, or it would be immediately melting that snow.
So even if you go to the barn and you touch your horse and his hair feels cool to the touch, he could be nice and warm inside. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to get your input on what you do for blanketing and also if you do blanket your horse, whether it's frequently or whether it's occasionally, what are your favorite brands for blanketing and any other tips or suggestions that you want to share with our community here. So I look forward to seeing your comments and if you are watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, go there. I've got tons of other free videos for you. And if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, we've got a new video every Friday. I'll see you in the next one.